Hey guys, it's John from Dark Canyon Prospecting. Today we're taking a road trip. We're gonna go visit a sluice box manufacturer in Vermont. We're gonna go check out the Green Mountain Gold Trap and uh, give you guys a good review on what that is and how it works. It's fluid bed dynamics. If you guys don't know anything about that, it's something that's been sought after by a lot of people. And this is the guy that's making a, a, a nice twist to this device. And it's the thing that's gonna help change a lot of people's ideas about sluicing and how things work classification all those things are in play here guys let's go check it out How you doing, man? Good, you. Good, good, good. This is Joseph. He's the inventor. How you doing? Okay. Arrived. Oh, Siri still wants to tell me where we're at here. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. How about we let the dog out? Come on out, monster. All right. This is Odds. He's a good boy. Hi there. What's his name? Odds, as in what are the odds against you? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, a nice little drive down here from Burlington area, so yeah. not too bad. You guys live in a real pretty part of the state, so yeah. cool beans. I'm eager to see what you got going on. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right. All right, guys, we're in the shop of the Green Mountain Gold Trap. We're putting the finishing touches on one of the sluices, and uh, some evolution to this kind of stuff is a lot of fun. You get to see a couple of different things there. Joseph, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about how this, you know, came about for you. Just, you know, you've got a couple of different versions here compared to what, what we're going to be acquiring, so. Yeah, well. How it all panned out, I never intended on getting a patent, never. And I just needed to, I had a, a bazooka gold trap and it just didn't always work good. Even though I knew I was in areas where there was gold, it just didn't always work good for me. So me being a creature of curiosity, I decided to build one semi-clear so I could find out how they work and why the bazooka gold trap wasn't working for me. Okay. So I ended up building this ugly thing that really worked very well. Um, this one's got smaller tubes in it than all the others now, but so that one evolved from there to this one. And what happened was, is I had a friend of mine who knows about geology and a geologist friend of his that I've been wanting to meet came down to the river knowing I would be there. And they got down there and they saw this in the river and they were looking at each other, looking at me and, and the geologist, he says, you need to do something with that. So here we are. That's why I've got the patent now. Very cool, man. Very, so very cool. I got, uh, I did a, had a patent search done on this one and I was told no go because there was, would have been a patent infringement and so on and so forth. So I had to do something different. So I ended up going with this. And you'll notice these are put together. These two are put together with rivets. We've eliminated those um, because in cold water or cold weather, what was happening was it was too much pressure and it was cracking the material. Right, I can see that. Right, so now we've we've gone with something completely different from 3M. So what I did to change it and make it 10% different was make a removable trap. Yeah, removable that's the concept that I really like with your system here is that that part pops right out. Super easy oh, cleanups. Yeah. Yep. The other videos that I've seen, that's, that's what pushed me here. So, yep. Yep. so then that evolved do even better totally different pin style this just wasn't good enough I'm, I'm i'm somebody who tries to be as perfect as possible even though i can never be perfect nobody We're can come real close with these products man the, the way that they're manufactured the time and you know the equipment that you've got set up down here to make this happen for people is really 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 good you've definitely done a lot of homework oh yeah and you're putting a lot of time into building these things they don't just come out of a mold or a press no. these things are all assembled by hand I've been here for the last few hours watching the process, and I must say I am completely thrilled at uh, watching the quality of, of this thing being thrown together. Made in the USA, and uh, it's awesome. And my dog couldn't be more thrilled, to be honest. So, <laughs> This is the PlayStation that you've got here. I remember uh, seeing on one of the videos you said you run this thing pretty hard and fast so that you've got some, some things to do here during the wintertime. <laughs> yeah. Works really good. 
couple different meshes. You screen your material down, yeah. and you run, of course, like size material with like size material. That always increases your capture rates and makes the cleanouts a lot easier as well. Yeah. Actually, the first time I run it, I actually run it. I classify it down to 20 mesh. Okay. And I do that deliberately because then I can rerun my material a couple times. Because here in Vermont in the winter, it sucks. Yeah, so right. We kind of right. like want to have something to do to, to get that fix, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And then when I do my final run, I classify it down. And Very nice. The uh, 100 mesh and minus 100s all run to the blue bowl. Okay. Which I've actually modified my blue bowl and put vibration in. You put it, okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. A little more liquefaction or something at the bottom of the bowl, helping yeah. things settle down to the bottom. I can see that. Yeah. Cool. So tell me, how did you get into, into prospecting and into gold to begin with? Well, I was actually asked when I was 18 and uh, not such a brilliant person to put it uh, rated PG. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of laughed it off and was too busy partying and all that crap. So um, later on, I just, uh, I don't know, about eight, nine years ago, I, I decided I started watching some videos on YouTube and mm -hmm. I said, I want to try that. So I ordered a, a set of... Uh, Garrett pans and yeah. ended up going out to the river and when I found that first piece of gold that was it. That's it. You get bit by the bug and you can't go back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's right. the, one of the most awesome diseases to catch is oh, gold yeah. fever. You know yeah. that's, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makes it real easy to get out and, and have some fun. You get a little bit of gold for your poke as well. It's not the worst thing in the world. I got started. Uh, see, it's I'm 47 now. I've been I've been playing with gold for about quarter century. I still have my first blue pan that I bought back in the day from the guy that I learned from. He's passed away, but he taught me a lot, and uh, I still use a lot of the same techniques today that I learned from him as far as fine gold recovery goes. There's a lot new a uh, new equipment around here, including stuff oh, yeah. like your fluid bed system, yeah. the other systems that I brought with you to show you, and and if other things that I've played with over the years. Going to the GPAA shows over the years and, and showing things to people that you know. Gold mining's come a long way uh, oh, compared yeah. to what the gold timers did. And yeah. There's still a lot of it out there. Most people think all oh, the gold's gone, but you and I both know differently. There's still gold coming out of these hills. They're finding their ways down to the river, and uh, you're able to get down there and get some of that stuff, whether you're yeah. using a pan or if you know go to states where you can run a sluice legally, you can get down there and sluice yourself to death and yeah. have a great time with it. So, Speaking of running sluices legally, one thing I want to clarify you had called it a sluice a while ago. I've got this actually patented. It's it's still patent pending, but it's in the process. I'm waiting for the patent trademark office to open this up. But I've got this thing patented as a classifier. As a classifier, okay. Because I'm trying to override these ridiculous rules that us gold prospectors are up against all the time. Right. So if, if this flies, then it should be legal in all 50 states. It'll be interesting That's to see I'm that, to be able for. to get into the gray area and make it so that everybody can do something like this without having to be, yeah. you know, thrown under the bus legally or whatever, you know. There are some guys out there that, you know, we talked about this a little bit ago. Guys will go out and they'll dig holes, massive holes, not do any reclamation. They'll yeah. leave their Gatorade bottles and their beer cans and yeah. toilet paper out there. That's not what we do. We no. go out and we clean up areas when we go out and we prospect. We make them better than, than, than when we got there. That's right. I bring home all the lead that I find. If there's yep. any mercury in the river, my my systems catch it, so will yours. Yep. You know, those are the things that we're doing out there. We're making a big difference in, 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 in the river systems. And uh, right. a lot of people would, would say that we're out there destroying nature. Well, that's not true. We're getting down into the bottom where the rivers are when they're low. The next spring when the floods come through, everything rolls over and changes anyway. And you can't even tell that we were there. Plus, they brings new gold and, and yep. other heavies down there to collect. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Absolutely. i got a spot well, I'm working on now that right? I found the gold back in. So. I'm waiting for spring. Yeah, right. We're waiting for spring up here in the Northeast. All right, cool. Now, I know you're a couple weeks out possibly on some of these orders. I saw your list. You've got a few people that are buying these things. You're shipping them all over the world, which is awesome. There's a couple that have gone out to Australia, New Zealand, Tanzania. You've got pretty much most of the Western United States covered. Um, have you shipped anything down to South America yet, or is that still on the, on the, in the works here? Well, New Zealand. We've got New Zealand. New Zealand? Um, yep. Okay. Um, Two places in Australia, Tasmania and New South Wales. Very cool. And of course, Alaska. All right, rock and roll. About 20, I think 25, 25 states in the U.S. Very cool. 
Very cool. So this is, you know, it's definitely getting out there. The word's getting out for sure. I've seen a couple of the other review videos that have been done about this device. And, you know, there's some good views, a lot of traction on this thing. I think you're going to do really well with it. And I know that anybody who gets one of these devices is also going to do really well. You're going to up your gold game. You're going to up your capture rates on things. You need to learn how to use different kinds of systems, depending upon where you're, where you're at, whether you're prospecting, whether you're mining. There's all kinds of different things going on with these systems and you need to understand the dynamics behind them so you can make sure you get the most out of them. This is a very, very easy system to use. You put the water in, you put the material in, it classifies itself, and then you do the cleanouts. Yeah. The cleanouts on these things, I'll post a couple links to a couple other videos that show you guys this stuff. Um, really, really simple thing to use and I can't wait to get this thing out in the water. Yeah, another thing too that would be good to mention is I mean, with it being clear, yeah, it actually tells you when it's set up right. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah, I can see that because you, you get the visual on it. Right. You know? Right. What I usually do when I get to a spot is I'll throw some blank, you know, just upper material that I know there's probably not going to be any gold in it just to charge the trap. Okay. To make sure I've got it set up right. Okay. Very yeah. cool. If anybody's part of the GPAA, you can, uh, uh, you know, you can see different things, but check this out. The Gold Prospectors magazine that's here, there's an article done on uh, this technology that he's got. And uh, so he's made it into the magazine on this one. And then also, of course, you can check him out in the Pick and Shovel Gazette. If you're part of the Gold Prospectors Association of America, you're going to find ads and some information about stuff that's going on here with those people as well. So check out the GPAA and for sure, check out... The Green Mountain Gold Trap. This thing's amazing. I cannot wait to get this thing out and put it in a situation where I can use it and do some more videos and do a real review on this thing and show you guys exactly how small of a particle of gold you can capture with a device like this. It blows my mind. It never, never ceases to amaze me how small of a piece of gold you can actually catch with a fluid-based dynamic system like this. Mm -hmm.